Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our playthrough of the original Dragon Quest, aka Dragon Warrior, upon time of release, both for the original installation for the NES in America, as well as this, the Game Boy Color version. I am Joe Westwood, and I'll be your host for this evening's digital entertainment, and today we are going for Loto's Sword, also known as Erdrich's Sword. We have the Flame Sword currently, along with Erdrich's Armor, also known as Loto's Armor in this game, or this version of the game, rather. Uh oh. We got put to sleep. This might be what I warned you guys about. Oh, and it fucking healed itself, bro. I don't know if sleep would work on it. I don't want to risk it. Okay. Alright, we beat it. Yeah, but today, uh, what we're doing, it's a bit perilous. You know, uh, there's plenty of instructional videos out there for this one, but I'd like to throw my hat in the ring for that, too, so... We'll just call this video, like, Loto's Sword, just in case somebody is specifically playing this version, even though there's, like, a lot of different versions. But every version is unique. So if you really like, you know, some version of this game, you might be interested in playing a different version eventually. Now, would I recommend beginning this, like, this version being your first time playing through this game? I don't know, but probably not. I've played the mobile version, I've played this version, I've played, like, a portion of the NES version. I don't know if I've played, like, the Switch release or whatever, but, you know, like, the people didn't have, they said it was pretty much the mobile releases. Just, like, a little bit of brush up for the first two games. But I absolutely am interested in, like, the most recent remake of the third game, for sure. This is uh, Sunday, April 23rd, 2023, at the time of this recording. I don't know if I said that yet. Sorry if I did. But that's what it is. So, um, hmm. I don't think that's what we wanna, where we want to go. I know what we're trying to do. I just, you know, got to not be as turned around as I am. Okay, let's fight the werewolf. It's a good thing we got this Erdrix armor, dude. Or even the magic armor is useful. <laughs> You know, it's just like walk around, heal damage. It's pretty nice, and I think it's always been that way. But it was not always the case that there was a storage system in this game. Time was like inventory management was a lot more stringent. It's a critical element in how you played these very old JRPGs, or any kind of an RPG really, was the management of your inventory space because there might have been an encumberment system. There was usually some kind of limitation about like how much you could carry. Yeah, that guy ripped into me pretty good. We'll cast heal, just a basic heal. And hopefully we'll be able to heal up pretty decently. Okay. Let's just walk up this way. Walk this way. Because the music in this room is already getting old. He drew a little attack. I thought I had his ass. There we go. We got him. Okay. Just running into walls and shit. That's classic MO for me though, you know. Alright, and this stuff doesn't hurt anymore with Erdrich Ar Erdrich's armor. So we don't have to take damage walking across the floor. And we're back up to full HP. That's what I like to see. It healed right away, but that might be better than getting put to sleep, honestly. Yeah, just use all your MP like that, dude. So that way you can't try to put us to sleep. Yes, dude. Oh, no. Damn it. Kill it. Take it out. We did it. Alright, cool. We handled this guy. Okay. Now we're going to check behind the, the throne here. Checked underfoot, and this is how you get into the last dungeon. By the way, we are in the last dungeon right now. But like I said, today's episode is not beating the game. That will be the next episode. This episode is just about getting the best weapon in the game. Really, you want to be around level 20 by the time you beat it anyway. And uh, full disclosure, I've got a map. Just kind of mapping out what we want to do and which way we want to go. I'm not looking at it necessarily right now because I kind of know what to do anyway. But I do have like a little reference guide. 
West attacked. If nothing else, if you're having trouble with a game like this, <laughs> you can kind of learn just by listening to me. You can just kind of find maps and stuff if you want. You can find, like, game facts. I'm sure, like, old IGN stuff, too. And, like, just, you know, you go to Google and you just type in map, like, you know, or any kind of image search. You go Brave Duck Duck Go, whatever. And, you know, you type in X Dungeon X Game Map. In a lot of 8 and 16, 32-bit games, you'll be you'll have pretty quickly accessible maps. Okay. So this is the correct staircase. But this might just be when I reference where to go next. Also, gotta be careful with this blue dragon here. Can't be fucking around with him. Okay, it took 12 damage to open the map up, but we're not gonna use it yet, clearly. Hmm. I know green dragons can get put to sleep. Let's give it a shot, Johnny. Wasn't affected. Let's heal the fuck up, Johnny. Heal more. There we go. Do over. Fight. Alright, we got him. We know not to try to cast sleep on him. Okay, let's look at the map. Let's see where we're at. Okay. So, I went by order of, so we just came out of that door, and we want to go pretty much in a great big circle, a great big clockwise circle, until we find the next staircase down. Okay, and this is not the spot we want to be standing in, we want to move back out and around to the outside, and just kind of... Move in a great big circle. We'll pretty much end up exactly where we started, except, you know, to the right of that and blocked off by a wall. That's the circular pattern. I think these things drop after three hits. Yeah, okay. And now might be a good time to use an herb. There we go. We used an herb, and now I'm going to use some herb. What other channel are you going to find a motherfucker smoking weed playing fucking Dragon Quest, man? Come on. Come on now. <sighs> I'm sure it exists, though. <laughs> uh, wait. Gotta make sure I don't get it twisted. Hold on. I'm seeing something else in my purview here. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I want to basically be careful not to get caught up going down. Sorry, I was just looking at my map. Anyway, it appears we got ourselves a big stone golem. Uh, fight the rock golem. It's pretty good damage, better than I thought. Also, he did good damage. Worse than I'd hoped. Yep, we can't do but one more of those before having to heal. And we're going to have to heal. We are going to cast. Heal more. And we're going to attack. And hope that's enough. It was enough. Very good. We earned some spurns. Okay, very good. We didn't get trapped down in the bottom. We want to keep moving clockwise. And we got a Mad Knight, and he is unaware, thank goodness. We get a free shot at him. Give me another free shot, Johnny. Damn it. Free shot canceled. And he put us to sleep, and this guy hits real fucking hard. You know, if we're lucky enough to live, because we might not be. This is, uh, okay. Uh, okay, good. We might want to try to put him to sleep. Because I think these guys are sus... No, fuck. Okay, uh... Cast... Heal more. Okay, I'm wondering if we should fucking flee, honestly. Because this is risky boots. He puts us to sleep and our HP is too low, man. We are fucked. 
Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, but now we gotta use another fucking herb, bruh. We've already used two herbs, bro. That's too many, too much. We've already used too much MP, bro. It's not cool. It's not cool and I don't respect it. Uh, the Rock Golem. He returns. But admittedly, this is how you get your like le your last levels. Because like I said, you want to be around level 20, 21 before you beat, like really try to beat this game. Maybe even 22. Take him out, take him out. Take him out, take him out. Very good. Oh, what's our MP? We still got a decent amount of MP. Basic heal. Okay, very good. Oh no! Did we go too far on the outside? Okay, let me check the map. Freaking dragons, dude. Yeah, but it's not as bad as I thought. Hold on. Okay, I mean, yeah, it does kind of suck. We gotta walk all the way back up left and back down. But, at least I know what's up. This is rough. And it's like, running is always risky. Because that can, like, get you very seriously hurt. But honestly, fleeing sometimes is the best option. Nope. Wasn't the best option this time. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now we're inevitably going to have to use more MP. Want to get a couple of good swings in. Okay, we might even be able to drop him right now. But we go up. Yep, see, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, we got way more HP and decent amount more MP. A lot more strength. Whew. That's a lot of strength and good agility, too. That was a good level. Okay, let's just use another herb. That didn't. That was not necessarily super helpful, dude. We'll cast another heal spell. Okay, that should be helpful. Back up, down. Okay, now we go straight down, and we'll be ready for the next floor, and we'll want to recast Radiant. But I don't want to use my MP that quickly. Take out this Druin Lord, son. Yeah, we got max 125 HP. That's that's actually really nice, <laughs> honestly. All right, handled business. 120 experience points. Get straight down, and here we go. All right, now we're gonna recast Radiant, and I'm going to reference the map. Okay, so this went came out that designated area okay and we want to let's see here go up to the top left corner of this room it appears by walking to the right and around the center wall the structure so then to the left to the left to the right to the right hip hop pokey pokey whatever sorry <laughs> it did solid 25 apparently my defense didn't go up enough to stop that from happening but that was a killer blow that was a really good hit <laughs> okay top left corner I believe was the staircases we want to take okay so we're in the top left corner and that brings us to where uh, I will find it. Okay, we want to go straight down and then into an enclosed area to the right and then straight up. So there's our enclosure. And it's a Mad Knight. Fight the Mad Knight. Fight the Mad Knight, Westwood. Thank goodness I didn't fall asleep. Jesus. That shit is scary. We are victorious with 130 experience points. Okay, inside the enclosure, up these steps. Okay. 
and this should be the last area where I've really got to reference anything. Because after, uh, after so much of it, it actually becomes quite simple. Okay, and we two-shot at him. Yeah, we're getting stronger for sure. Okay. So, let's see here. Came up that spot. Which should bring us to where? Hold on. So. That's in. And I'm just looking for the next number designation. Oh, okay, actually, hold on, I think I got it. Yeah, okay, so, all we gotta do, silly me, we're inside a completely closed-in space, there's only one way to go. It already is simple, we just follow the trail, follow it all the way home. And what's this? We got Loto's sword, Erdrick's legendary blade we didn't even get to equip it yet yo that was rude as fuck we're just gonna go away jesus we want to look at our new sword dude okay so the flame sword to loto sword that gives us an attack boost of 12 and who knows what that animation is gonna look like son loto's armor silver shield okay and then in case you aren't aware by this point, which you should be if you're playing this game, um, common sense is we cast outside. And then common sense from that point is we cast return. And then we go to the king and save our game and restock on herbs and grind until we're level 20 at least. And we'll be uh, coming back at around the point that we have grinded out everything we got to grind out. So, I'll see you guys next time for the series finale of the original Dragon Warrior. I have been Joe Westwood, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. And I hope you all stay beautiful. <laughs>